Hey Leo, this is Soul. And Leo, uh, this is going to be your general love forecast for the month of December 2016. The messages will also be for Leo Moon and Leo Rising. Uh, I would <laughs> encourage you to watch the other videos if you know your moon and your rising. Also, before I begin your messages, Leo, I want to wish everyone happy holidays. Happy New Year. Um, please be safe. Um, spending time with your family and friends. If you uh, so choose to do that or if you are doing solo, do something to make yourself happy. But be safe, whatever it is that you choose to do. Okay, so this month, for some of the Leos that I'm about to read for, I'm focusing only on love and relationships. I'm not going to cover any other area or aspects of your life. I also chose to do six cards as opposed to ten. But I use the bottom card as the focus or the major theme of energy for you for the month. And like I, I'm about ready to say, uh, some Leos this upcoming month, y'all got a lot of shit going on when it comes to relationships. Because we start off the energy um, for some of you with the two of cups in the reverse. Always like to see the two of cups in the upright position when it comes to love and relationships. So already with this two of cups showing up in the reverse, it's showing me that there could be a potential or possibility of partnerships not being on the same page, seeing eye to eye. This is also, too, uh, a weaker version of a split or a breakup. It's not the lovers showing up in the reverse. However, that would have been a stronger indication of, uh, you know, definite uh, splits and breakups. This could be just you still being with one another. Uh, but this month, it could be due to holiday stress and the reason why the Two of Cups is coming up. Somebody's coming across as being somewhat upset emotionally and disappointed. If I'm reading for a Leo or two that's in a relationship or dating a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, I am going to say it's not so much your energy as opposed to their energy. This is the way they're feeling when it comes to that relationship with you. Something's going on that's either about to bring a uh, disappointment or bring some sort of emotions into play. Uh, negative emotions, that is. So, it could be the fact that partnerships in the month of December, uh, the emphasis and the stress is to um, be very vigilant, to work harder. Uh, to maintain what you already have if it's you know if it's worth having if not then you'll you know make a decision to um, do what's necessary for you but I'm not pulling any decision making uh, cards right now because I don't have any swords but what I do have next to this two of cups is the uh, eight of wands so this is already uh, and it's in the reverse eight of wands this is your energy so it also could be the energy of that of Leo not Leo, Aries and Sagittarius, male or female. Something. All right, let me just pull this in here because maybe the Two of Cups is showing up as the overall energy. That still stands in terms of the messages that I just gave. But I'm hitting someone direct here now because the Two of Cups is showing up in the reverse. That means that there was a relationship from the past that started with Leo, possibly uh, with a water sign, and then it came to an abrupt end. The Eight of Wands is usually the Eight of Wands in the upright is, is something that comes in quick or happens quickly. This is a completion of that quickness. It's like it's coming to a stop or it has come to a stop. This is also a card of good communication. So maybe there was someone that Leo has met in the past and then, you know, some sort of communication. There was some sort of communication breakdown or the communication wasn't effective enough. Um I'm doing love and relationships here, but this is being this eight of wands is all about communication. So in the reverse, it's it's really uh, more negative than it is positive. Uh, and the upright, is, of course, is positive. But there was some sort of possibly an abruption with a relationship that started quickly with a Leo, possibly with a water sign, but it could be with any zodiac sign. That's just for the Leos that I'm. I'm getting this message for uh, and I feel that it had something to do with the communication was not effective enough so it may have put an end to it or you could be still dating or seeing this person and the communication between you are still strained next card up somebody 
is overcoming a, it could be connected to the Eight of Wands and the Two of Cups, the reason why that's showing up in the reverse. Now we have the uh, Three of Swords uh, in the reverse. So that means someone is overcoming some sort of heartache and grief and conflict with a split separation, possible divorce. And I apologize because I said I wasn't getting any swords energy, but this is the three of swords. So, but it's not really so much about a decision making. So if, or it could be, if Leo made a decision to split from a love triangle, somebody that was already attached or someone was attached and they were dealing with Leo, this is the outcome of that energy overcoming. So there's a lot of pain, grief, heartache. This card is also an indication of divorces being finalized, possibly in the month of uh, December. Whether or not it's with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female, it really doesn't matter. It could be with any zodiac sign. Overcoming uh, a separation, split separation, divorce, heartache with the Three of Swords. Now, the only time I like to see the Three of Swords in a general love reading or, you know, a general reading is when it's in the reverse. When it's in the upright is more powerful. OK. And it's, you know, uh, things to come. So obviously something something happened to a Leo or two that I'm speaking about and could be uh, coupled with the um, two of cups showing up in the reverse. Uh, the reason why the two of cups is showing up in the reverse that there was something going on uh, with a relationship that may have ended or there was some sort of split. I'm still seeing that there was a quick abruption to a relationship that may have started uh, 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 back here in the past. I won't extend it for a month, but it may be longer than a month. But I'm getting that energy, whether or not it's with a water sign, could be with another fire sign and also an air sign. Now, moving out into the future. See, we have the Eight of Cups. That's why I said I don't know what the hell's going on with Leo in the month of December, but someone's walking away. Now, if you don't physically walk away from the relationship, it may be that you're just emotionally disappointed within the relationship. But I'm still getting that somebody might be walking away from a relationship. Now, mind you, it sits next to this Three of Swords. And that's usually indicative of a love triangle for me. The threes represent that. So it could be that Leo's leaving a situation where someone was already attached or someone's leaving Leo uh, who's attached. And it may or may not be, you know, water signs, energies. It could be any zodiac energy. Someone's emotionally upset, disappointed within terms of a relationship. This also could go out to... Um, what I said earlier about this month could be the month for finalizations of divorce and someone is not a happy camper. OK, there's a lot of energy going on here. Now we have the next card up, Major Arcana, the High Priestess. OK, now what I'm getting with this here, um, it also, too, is giving me a stronger indication because of the moon. Moon is associated with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Male or female, and it could be that energy where because the fact that it sits underneath the eight of wands that there was a relationship that may have started again, uh, may have started quickly and then abruptly ended or there was if it didn't end, there's some sort of uh, miscommunication or the communication is not effective enough or it's not going over too well. Also, too, I'm picking up female Leos who may have. A tendency to spend too much time in the mirror uh, because they're looking at their body image and thinking about ways to improve or enhance their image. Uh, this card shows up uh, and that is connected to love and uh, relationships because you might be feeling. Uh, what's the word I'm, I'm looking for? You might be feeling. I don't want to say adequate. It may be something involving esteem. So it could be low, low self-esteem when it comes to your body image. Some of you are pondering about uh, possible nip and tuck enhancements in the breast. Um, but I'm just, you know, in the upright position, that's just, you know, stuff that's going on inside of your head. Your body image is fine. You don't need to do any improvements or enhancement. Um, 
to either try to make your uh, prospects for you know a relationship better or not it's not going to make a difference um and I don't say it's not going to make a difference in a negative way. You can do whatever it is that you want. I'm just picking up. There's a female too that I'm reading for this. Looking in that mirror, way too often, and it's they're concerned about the way they their body image is and how they come across. I guess it's their appearance to others, especially if it's a female reading for. This also could be for males too. Um, how their image, their body image. Uh, comes across okay but you're perfectly fine do not I mean you can do what you want to do but you don't need to do anything but I am getting that there was a, a, a abruption quick abruption with a relationship that started with possibly a water sign I don't know why I'm getting that now because we have another three this is the three of wands so we have the eight of wands is your energy and now the, the three of wands is your energy as well so it's either leo walks away from a love triangle or someone walks away from leo okay this is a card of pop well when i say positive movement forward that's what it is it's progressing the two of wands would be that it's stagnating uh and it's not moving anywhere the three is someone is moving okay someone's moving away from a situation you know, just look at the wands and there's three so there's two someone is walking away here all right and they're actually they're actually looking forward to, to walking away if i can say that three of wands threes represents love triangles or it's you know attractions or affairs and someone is walking away three of wands underneath the three of swords in the reverse so there we have it now, when it comes to um, justice, that some of you may be justice, but I'm pulling this justice card in here for those who may have been dealing with um, divorce, you know, divorces. So this card shows up, major arcana, major life event in the upright to say that justice will be served to you, okay? If there was some sort of... Um, painful divorce or separation and there there were assets involved then i feel that if it was you directly then you know you get served and it's in your favor okay also to leo is trying to seek a balance when it comes to relationships so after it's all said and done uh you want balance you want to restore balance in your life with the scale showing up um with the scale showing up and then it's, I'm picking up a uh, Libra energy so I don't know if that's uh, a Leo that I'm reading for that may have had a divorce with a uh, Libra en uh, energy or if I'm reading for a Leo who's involved with a Libra or other air sign and there's some sort of justice or injustice that's going on but there's some sort of balance uh, that you want to restore or bring back to yourself at the end of the month because uh, this is a very uh, powerful month in terms of its energy uh, where you know if the two of cups had at least shown up in the upright as your starting energy then I would say well with all the other stuff that I'm seeing here there's still a chance to make things right because it's all about um seeing eye to eye with one another being on the same page you're having difficulties but you're willing to work things out this here is like this might be a month of not being on the same page seeing eye to eye with one another and it's only enhanced by the holiday stress so that could be a factor or a major factor into why the two of cups is showing up in the reverse someone is disappointed at a distance with the three of swords uh things didn't work out possibly with an air sign it doesn't necessarily have to be an air sign it could be any sign someone walks away again see we have the eight and then the three of wands someone is walking away because they're not happy with what their current situation uh if they do not walk away then this is just how they feel emotionally disappointed or upset that things aren't uh the way that they want now this could be you but it also could be uh, I'm pulling in energy as someone else 
associated or attached to you, uh, Leo. Okay. And we're only talking about love and relationships. So that could be someone you're dating, someone that you're currently in an established relationship with. But uh, this month is a month for um, some of you to work on your relationships uh, because I just see a lot of unhappiness. Yeah, I just see a lot of unhappiness here. Unfortunately, I had to report that. Okay. All right, so that's your reading and the uh, Romance Angel Oracle card that I have selected for you is, okay, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Now, this card comes in here that may be separate for those Leos who aren't dealing with these issues because this doesn't even complement well, I shouldn't say it doesn't complement it because any card that I draw, it is to complement it. So it's, it's being pulled for a reason. So if there are Leos that I'm speaking for that ain't dealing with none of this bullshit here uh, that I just spewed out, then this comes in for you to say it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. This could be for those single Leos who are looking to connect with someone. And then you may have some sort of reservations or hesitancy about uh, you know, opening yourself fully again and trusting, uh, you know, another energy into your life. Uh, so this comes in for you. And then for the couples who aren't dealing with this stuff, as I mentioned before, it's still safe for you to open yourself up to uh, allow the relationship to deepen a little bit further. OK. All right. So, Leo, unfortunately, I had to give you that dire news, but uh, it is what it is. Anyway, I want to thank you for visiting my channel. Um, <clears throat> by all means, please look at your your moon and your rising because there may be something uh, that's in addition to this reading. If this reading doesn't resonate with you or it could be something in there that contrasts uh, completely with the reading. All right. So sending you all love and light. Enjoy the holidays. Happy New Year's. Be safe uh, until I see you again. 2017. Take care, Leo. Bye.